I will tell of the incident where Imam Hussein alayhi salam stepped in and gave me some guidance which changed my life. Um, I was doing my doctorate, I was doing my PhD. I had been working in media for another channel uh, for about a year, but my life was basically going to work and coming home, doing my research on the laptop and not really mixing with many people. I didn't go out to Majalis. I didn't really know many people in the Shi'i community. So I was living a very reclusive life. And then he appeared to me in a dream one autumn, early autumn, where I was standing at the end of my road in London and I looked down to my right, down this road, and I saw Imam Hussein alayhi salam going into battle on the plain of Karbala. I could see him in the distance with the banners flying and I remember the dust rising from the hooves of the horses. And I was too far away to be with Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And it was not a good feeling, I can tell you. I put my hand out, stretched my hand out to him and I said, Imam Hussein, forgive me. And I thought about that dream for about one or two weeks. You know, what was that about? What's it, what was he trying to tell me? First of all, he was saying to me that commit yourself to living truthfully. It's imperative if we're going to serve Ahl Bayt salam that we endeavor to be as truthful as we can. Truthful with ourselves and with others around us. That is, that is the basic condition. And secondly, that I had to go out into the community. This path of reclusiveness was not going to lead to a good destination. That's what was shown to me. And that I had to go out to serve in the Shi'i community. And so it was about one year later that I started to work for Ahl Bayt TV. And a couple of months after that, that I found myself in Karbala, outside the haram of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, talking about Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam intercede and, and give guidance where we are starting to drift from the path or go astray or not practice in the right way, in the way that they would wish. And I have to say that from this dream, which I knew I had to listen to and couldn't ignore, my life has changed forever.